Gangs of New York. What can I say? Well, I, I don't know. It, it's still going. Let me finish. Well, it took some time, but it's finally over. Gangs of New York? More like my time is now gone. It's just so long. And this would be where I would insert some sort of penis joke, but the length of this movie just drained me too much. Don't look at me that way, though. I did like this movie. Some historical dramas are boring, but this one kept my attention and entertained me the whole time. That's because the story was well written and the dialogue was actually interesting to listen to. The directing was obviously fantastic, it was Martin Scorsese. He did an amazing job of recreating the 19th century. I mean, he could have done it all on computer, but you know, he's old, he likes doing stuff old school. The music also added a lot to this movie. But this would have been nothing without the great cast. Leonardo DiCaprio, a great actor, he did an amazing job in this movie. But he did lose his accent a lot of times, it came and went. Also, he was actually pretty ugly in this movie. Oh yes, I went there. In contrast though, Cameron Diaz was extremely hot in this movie and the red hair actually made me more attracted to her. Not only was she hot, but she also gave a stellar performance in my bed. I'm just kidding, I, I didn't have sex with Cameron Diaz. But the showstopper, the scene stealer, what took this movie over the top was Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis is like the prestices of this movie. Sure, this movie has a great personality, but without Daniel Day-Lewis, where would we place our attention? In summary, this is an excellent historical drama, and I would recommend it to anybody who likes historical dramas. Just remember that it's long, but worth it. And I'm not talking about the movie. See you later! Coco Drill. <laughs>